Good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you? Fine, good you? Good, good. Good evening. What did you guys do today? Teacher? Yeah. I wanted to ask you, do you know if there is something wrong with the platform? Because I cannot see the videos. Uh, which, all the videos or what? All the videos. It says uh, that this video, is, it is not available. Let me take a look. Hmm. I'm looking at the video right now. Let me see the other one. No, I'm seeing the video right now. No, Wilbur, no, no problem with the platform. Really? Uh, can you see the, the WhatsApp chat that we have because uh, I think another classmate has the same problem. They said uh, 4.8, right? I saw, I saw the video. It says like this, right? Um, In the chat is like the, the video doesn't exist. Uh, well, but they have a little bit difference. Este video no está disponible. But when I click on it, from the past. One it plays. Is a, I'll explain the structure in a little bit. You but think? The most important thing yeah, I click on it, but I don't know why I cannot see it. Therefore, I try. I, I have, it looks like this, but when I play. That we're using the past event. and It allows it to event. play, so I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can see the WhatsApp group. Uh, there is the uh, screenshot. Uh, yeah. That's why I checked. That's why I said, that's why I checked. But I don't know if it's the person or, or the computer or or the app that the updates that they need because I, I don't have any problems with the video, but I reported it anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, Jonathan, do you have problems with the video? Uh, well, no, not I yet. have problems. Uh huh. But because I see Marvin, Marvin said that he had problems, and Wilbur too. And I to do too. Teacher, which video? Which unit? Um, according to the to the chat, four point eight. But for me, I. They are all the videos. I cannot see any of them. Not, uh, I mean, well, now that I'm trying, I uh -huh. see that the 4.1 here is available. But if I go to 4.3, it is not available. I don't know okay. why. In my case, I can only see the four point ten. You cannot see four point ten. I can see, but I can see four point eight and four point nine. Okay. Hey, teacher. Yeah. Good night. Excuse me. Good evening. Uh, so, um, uh, a few maybe one or two days ago i could i could watch uh, uh i could watch the video but just i i tried uh, to watch it again and it's not possible uh, it says it says a message this video is private check it in youtube I'm trying in my in my in my um, um, app in the cell phone. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, last week I I played this video and it was available, but now it's not. Mm 
Okay. Maybe, maybe could be changed uh, 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 configuration or, or I don't know uh, about the, the video. Okay, let me, let me put it in there before I get. Yeah, I'm asking right now. Okay. You put it there. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I put it in the chat and was office says tomorrow I reported again um I reported the video 4.8 but do you, do you say that it's all the video uh, the 4.2 I can say it but the the ones that go after that one I cannot okay hang on let me see this Okay, do me a favor and click on the link, uh, Wilbur, and tell me if you can see that video. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, to click on the video, right? The link, yeah, the link that's in the in the chat. The link that's in the chat. Let's see if it works like that. The link in the chat. Do you see the link in the chat? The YouTube link? Yeah. Okay, in that one. And I clicked it and it says the same video is not available. Okay. Says the video privado mirar in YouTube, but it doesn't give you the option to watch it in YouTube, right? No, it opens the page. Not this not possible. There is other videos, not the ones of the class. Okay. Tried it too, and I. It, it is on, it's not possible for me. Okay. Well, don't worry. Then we'll see what the office can fix between by tomorrow. We report and they will try to fix the, the problem. Maybe somebody changed the settings and put private by accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because <clears throat> the 4.6, uh, there are some questions that you need to see the video to answer them. Right, right. Mm-hmm. But the, the 4.6 is the news broadcast that we did in the class. Yeah, but I didn't I didn't answer the questions. And this afternoon that I wanted to do it, I couldn't. Okay, no problem. Because if you didn't watch the video, the, the other option is always a, you can go to the YouTube channel because this video we watched in the class and you can watch the video from the class. Okay. That was yesterday, but yeah. But we try to find the solution for watch directly in the platform, which is, is the best way. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everybody's ready. Everybody has their presentations. How are we? We need to begin. Can we, can we read the presentation? <laughs> no, you cannot read the presentation. But we need to begin. That way we make sure that we have enough time for everybody to pass. Okay. I'm gonna, let me get... The stopwatch. That way we can get to it. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. In case you can't see, I have a stopwatch. That way I have the exact time, minimum two minutes, no cheating. And maximum? Maximum three minutes. At three minutes, I stop you because we need time for everyone to pass. Yeah. 
Okay, any volunteers? No volunteers? Well, I, yes. well, I can, I can, I can begin. Well, all right, Jonathan. All right, let's begin. Okay. Good night, everybody. Uh, good evening. Excuse me. Uh, today, I'm gonna talk to you about a famous place that I think we all have visited, and it's called La Puerta del Diablo. And of course, there is a legend about that place. Uh, La Puerta del Diablo is a good place. If you want to visit with your family, you can eat pupusa, you can eat a lot of locos, whatever you want. Uh, but there is a big question. Why does it place call like that? It's because there is a legend. You know, in the colonial times, uh, there was a beautiful lady uh, called Maria de la Paz. Maria de la Paz, so this, it was so beautiful that the same devil goes to seduce her. It was so beautiful that he fell in love. So he kidnapped that lady and took her to a grave in the Puerta del Diablo. And the father of the lady was a uh, a lieutenant, un terrateniente, and he realized that the devil took his daughter. So he decided to rescue her. And many people from that place, because uh, her, his name was Rosendo Renderos. That's why that place is called Los Planes de Renderos. It's a canton. And uh, so the Lieutenant Rosendo Renderos with many people decide to rescue his daughter. So the devil got scared and he escaped from the big rocks, the, the two cliffs, one the right rate. Right. So uh, he was so scared that he escaped down and Many people said that at the final, he didn't found his daughter. Only he found he was a, was a, her necklace, a, a scapulario, I think, scapulario. And, and that's why, uh, that's, the, that's the story. That's the story about that place. And the name of the, Cerro that it's located that uh, La Puerta del Diablo is called Cerro El Chulo, right? And there were after that event. Okay, Jonathan, thank you very much. That's exactly three minutes ah, okay. maximum. Perfect. Okay, no problem. And no problem. Timing? Excellent. In the chat, you will see some of the mistakes that you made. The mistakes are for the past tense. We are, you are doing good ah. speaking, you are doing well with your fluency, but you need to work on your final sounds. You need to make sure you say the words de decided, escaped, and it's not, oh. a, but it's at the end. At the end, he decided to look for his daughter or at the end, he couldn't find okay. okay. Very good, Jonathan. Jonathan, tell me the name of the next person that is going to be our volunteer. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, I remember that one, it's a lady, Leymar. I remember because it sounds like- I know like you're gonna say my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, you, were my, you were my partner, do you remember? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Leymar. Let's go, Leymar, you can do it, you can do you it. You can do it. <laughs> okay, Leymar, I'm ready. Sí, se escucha doble. Okay, now? Can now, you hear me? Now it's normal. Okay, just wait. Lemar, do you have video? Do you have your camera? Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Do you have okay. Lemar? Yes, I have my camera, but I'm not really in condition. 
Acabo de terminar de hacer ejercicio. It's okay, Pero... mi amor. You can turn on the camera. Nadie está we, can't, we can't smell you. Yeah. Oh, but you can see me. Bueno, ok, ok. Don't worry, Lemar. Ok. Ok. I'm going to talk about the whistler, like I said yesterday. Um, this legend took place in the rural uh, part of Venezuela. Uh, it's about a young man who killed his killed his home, see, his own father, um, because uh, his father murdered his son's girlfriend because uh, he didn't approve the relationship. Uh, after he killed uh, his father, his grandfa grandfather wanted to punish him, and he tied him. Um, uh, he tied him to a tree and beating him until he bled. Um, then uh, he condemned him to um, to carry his father's um, remains in a sack on his back. Uh, while the boy walked away into the plains, his grandfather yelled at him uh, you are damned for the for all eternity. And said his rabbit dogs dogs after him. Uh, people said, or people say the boy's spirit brings death and destruction to anyone who comes across him. Um he uh, people say also he, he his ghost is extremely tall and skinny and whistles the notes, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> and he's very tricky with, the, with his victims. When the whistling her, is heard close, it means he's far away. But when his whistlings are, you hear it um, far, far away, it means he's, uh, you, you gotta, he is close to you. Something like that is the, the legend. And that's it. People say it, it's located in the plains of Venezuela. This ghost or this kind of ghost. And that's the story. Okay, Lamar, very good. Very good time. Two minutes, 22 seconds. The only problem you had was you're telling the story well. Uh, remember the word, the pronunciation is ghost. No, a ghost. ghost. Yes. Uh -huh. Lemar, were you reading the words? Because your eyes kept looking at the table. My what? Your eyes ah. were looking at the table. Yes, yeah, so, so, some, some, because I don't remember. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I know. I yeah, see. Yeah, I something see. like that. Something yes. like that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. some, some parts I remember and some other. No, but you wanted to hear something about Venezuela. Yes, and, and we wanted to make sure that yeah. you were speaking, not reading, speaking. All right. Good yeah. job, Lemar. Good job. Remember, ghost. Ghost. Okay. Lemar, who's the next person? Mm. Wilbur. Wilbur, excellent. Is he here? Yeah, I think I remember Wilbur was here. He was the one who was telling me about the uh, the connection that the that he did. Ah, uh, he's not here. Yes, yes, he's I'm here, here. I'm here. He's here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I didn't see. Yeah, okay. thanks you for saying nice. my name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are, you are famous. You are famous. You see that? Even in Venezuela, they know your name. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, okay. as I told you the last time, uh, the story is about the three little pigs. Um, long time ago, there was an old mother pig, and she had uh three little pigs but she didn't have uh too much uh food to feed them so she wait until they well they were all enough uh to let them go uh into the forest so that way they can have uh they can have their own life so <clears throat> they knew the three little pigs they knew that they have to build their own house. And the first little pig, it was lazy. So he made his house 
out of straw. <clears throat> uh, and then he rest for the rest of the day. Then the second little pig, uh, he wanted to work a little bit more, but he made his house out of uh, uh, sticks of wood. So uh, then the third little pig, he liked to work more and he worked hard the whole day and he made his house out of bricks. So but at the end, when he finished uh, to make his house, uh, it looked to be very strong, you know, like it looked like it can withstand with the strongest wind. So then, like a few days after that, there was a wolf. And this wolf passed by the lane where the three little houses of the of these three little pigs were. So he went to the first house, um, the straw house, the first one. So he smelled, he smelled that there was a little pig inside of the house. So the wolf said, uh, little pig, little pig, let me in. And the little pig saw the wolf um, through the keyhole. So he said, no, I won't let you come in. So the wolf said, I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. So he did it. He huffed, he puffed, and he blew the house down. So then the little pig was really scared. So he ran really fast, as fast, as fast hey, as fast. Yeah. Thank you very much. Three minutes. <laughs> very good. Yes. In case you can. All right. Yeah. Three, three minutes. Good that. speaking. Good All right, that. Wilbur. Yes, right. Max. Thanks. Good, good, Wilbur. All right. Um, in the chat, you can see some of the mistakes that you made. Some of the mistakes are mainly in the past tense. You are saying the correct story, but remember, it's waited. Okay. They waited, could have, they had to build, no have to build because it's not present, right? They finished, not to make. We don't use to, we say finished making with ing. And the past tense of this word, the pronunciation is smelled, smelled. Okay, Wilbur? All right, thanks. Good, good job, good job overall. Very good, Wilbur. Okay. Thanks. Good, who's next, Wilbur? Uh, let's see, let's hear Jose. Jose, okay. all right, Jose it is, Jose Perez, right? Yeah, he's the only Jose today, all right. Yeah. Okay, my case. Hello, good evening, everybody. What's up? Uh, in my case, I am talking about the legend of El Cadejo, right? This legend is very popular, popular in, in America Central, Mexico, and even South America, you know, and it's from Guatemala. The legend of El Cadejo, the pe uh, people say that there are those kind of Cadejos, you know, one is black, another is white. Black is like the bath. And if you, if people say that if you are walking on the streets at night, you know, between 10 p.m., from 10 p.m. to 12, right, uh, that animal appear. If you doing something bad and they steal your soul, in the soul of the children as well. That's the thing that people say. Of course, uh, the other Cadejo is white, is the opposite, is the good animal, right? Represent good things, things like that. And appear when those people that are good, that are good person, uh, need help on the street in the middle of the night as well. So if you are walking on the street at night, and this is more for us, right, the men, because when we hang, hanging out on the, on the street at night, uh, some of those animals 
can appear. That's the people say. That's all. And they they lose they lose like a goat or goat or a spirit, something like that. And their eyes are a little bit uh, small and looks like a if their their eyes were fire or a horrible animal. I'm scared and scared if I show those and see those animals on the street. So basically, those cadejos appear on the night if you do doing something bad or if you need help. Like I was saying yesterday. Okay. All right, Jose. Thank you very much. Great job. Teacher, you're mute. Thank you, guys. I forgot. Thank you. Um, I said, great job, Jose. Um, in the chat, you can see some of the mistakes. Um, you said America Central. It's Central America, right? Central America. You say they are some good persons. Persons doesn't exist. The people, it's good people. Remember, the plural is people, good people. And then you say they looks like they Remember, it's plural, so no S for look. It's they look like, only he, she, it looks. But good job, Jose, excellent. Select the next victim, Jose. I mean, the next volunteer. Ada Paz. Ada, Ada Paz. Woo, good, because Ada was quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Ada. Okay. Do, you, do you have your camera, Ada? Oh, see. Si. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. I know nobody likes to show their face, but I want to make sure you are not reading. Okay, it's a little dark. It's okay, Ada. Uh, I hope you see me. <laughs> yes, we see you. Okay. Okay, my tale is about uh, the squeaky car. Uh, the squeaky car is probably one of the most popular um, tale in, uh, legend in, in El Salvador. And it's about a car who make the shrill song, sound. And that, why, that's, that is why it calls a squeaky car. And uh, this car uh, usually carry bones and some uh, schools and it, it moves by its own. It means that it's not, uh, the car has an oxen. It simply mo just move it by, by its own. Some say that uh, the car is pushed forward by some ghosts. And, and um, one fact that it, it looks, it seemed interesting for me is that there's many hypotheses about the origin of the squeaky car, but one is that in between the 18, 18, 1836, uh, there was a cholera epidemic in the country and the cart was used to translate the dead bodies of the houses uh, to the cemetery. So, the, that that's for me it sounds more logical the for the origin of this this legend and that's it okay pass Ada, thank you thank you very much, Ada. good job in the chat um you can see some of the mistakes that you made it's a car that makes remember who only we use for people only for people okay, okay so a car that makes the pronunciation of the next two words are skulls, skulls, the head, the skull, okay. and the other word is pushed. The pronunciation is with T, a T at the end, pushed. Pushed, okay. And then the next word is origin, origin. Origin, okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one is incorrect. It's not they they translate the body or they translate the bones. Is they they transfer, they transfer. 
They trans exactly. They transfer. Translate <laughs> is the language. Yeah. Translate is the yeah. language. All right, Ada. Yeah, okay. Good job. Good job. Who's next, Ada? Um, Sergio. Sergio. Okay. Hello. Hey, Hi. Sergio. Hi, everyone. Ah, hoy es Excellent. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's start. Um, my story, maybe some of you could say that is the all the the all reliable, la viaje confiable, no? Uh, it's about Cipitillo. Cipitillo, um, the legend says that um, it means um, a, a person who look uh, who looks like a kid. Some people uh, say that is the infamous uh, Siwanawa's song. Uh, this this uh, character uh, looks like a normal. Uh, he wears a enormous hat and have um, bare feet uh, that face a uh, backward. Um, uh, he usually uh, is found in rural areas. And the story uh, says that uh, he enjoyed um, a bully, bully uh, virgin and young girls, uh, especially when uh, they went to the river for uh, do the laundry, for doing the laundry, uh, because in rural areas, uh, people normally uh, go to river to wash uh, their clothes. Uh, and he, in that place, um, threw um, little rocks to them. And some person says that even now, you can see him in the middle of a uh, rural um, roads, in riversides, and maybe if you see um, careful, carefully, uh, you can um, watch it, watch him um, making all kind of bad things for young girls. I don't know, maybe it could be true, but, or maybe not, but uh, I think that is one of the most important stories of the Salvadorian folklore. It's only what I can say about that legend. Thank you very much, Sergio. Very good job. Nice story. Um, we have a couple of things that we want to work on. The first one, the pronunciation, sun, like a U, not an O sound. You pronounce not. Not with O, but with you, son, right? You are correct. The next one, uh, the pronunciation is gnome. The gnome, they say he's like a gnome, okay? Um, it's, not they, it's not they for doing the laundry, it's to do the laundry. When they go to the river, to do the laundry, okay? You also said the word some person said. Remember, person doesn't exist, it's some people. People are, is the plural form. Some people said, and then you don't watch him because watching is for long. So you see him. The, the word better is see him. Some people see him, okay? And then the last part is not for young girls. He does some things to young girls, Two. All right. Good job, Sergio. I like it. Who's the next person, Sergio? Maybe Natalie. Natalie, hey, Ivania, you're lucky, huh? All right, Natalie. <laughs> I just have you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, good evening, everybody. Um, I'm going to start now. When I was a, a little girl, I always listened to all the legends and the stories of the Salvador. This story that the special catch my attention was La Despernada. 
<laughs> legend that it does uh, she was a sensual woman looking uh sensual looking woman who will be found and the slave rules asking for a ride when drivers uh, would ask her where she was going she would just answer uh, that she is going a few miles away and then she will get in the cart and start to seduce the driver. <laughs> when the man start touching and kissing her, something uh, fragment happened. The woman's skill fell off her body and she became a human skeleton. Minutes later, the victims were found in a state of total uh, confusion and only remember the moments when the fragment the sense of cure. Some say that La Desternada is actually the spirit of an evil witch. And I choose this history because one day when I was coming from uh, a party with my family in the middle of the night, obviously in a car, I saw a woman in a white dress on the side of the street. I remember my aunt mentioned that the woman in the white dress was La Descarnada. <laughs> and that's all. All right, good job, Natalie, good job. Okay, in the chat, you can see a couple of the mistakes. Um, we have uh, for the pronunciation is drivers, Driver. Drivers. Then it's frightening. 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 Yes. Frightening. That's it. frightening. No frightening. Frightening. The E you don't use. Okay. Ah, frightening means scared. Uh, yeah. it's frightening. Frightening lemma. Okay. Scared. And then you confuse the pronoun. You said he became, but it's not he, it's a woman. She became. She became. Mm -hmm. She became. And then you use the word, I choose this story, but is not in present. You make the selection before. I chose the story. I chose. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Good job, Natalie. All right, Nat. Who's next? Okay. I select Marvin. <laughs> hey, okay. Marvin. You are mute. You are mute, Marvin. Can you hear me now? Yes, now we can hear you. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks to say my name. I really appreciate. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about the weeping woman. Uh, this story is come from Mexico. It's about the, uh, the name of the weepy woman is Luisa, according to the story. And uh, the story says that she was a very, very beautiful uh, woman uh, with uh, in, in indigenous origin in she has a very nice uh, skin. Uh, she has a, a strong berry lips. Uh, she has a very nice hair. Um, um, uh, many, many men try to uh, uh, get with her, but uh, she reject all the men. And by someday, the Spanish gentle, gentleman um, from the high society uh, who, who, is, who was called uh, Don Nunos, Nunos was the last name. Um, that man, uh, uh, he explained to her that 
uh, because they were from different status or different uh, class classes. Uh, it was uh, not possible to be together and formalize the uh, his relationship. So uh, they uh, escaped together to a very secluded secluded place for six years and they has uh, um, three kids um, but uh, this man uh, visit the the woman very frequently but um, after that he they had uh, three kids the man uh, became to became to um, uh, be uh, to be scarce um, visiting to the, the this woman this woman uh, one one night the the woman decided to follow this man uh, uh, step by step uh, she went uh, behind him. Uh, the vehicle stopped in a very luxury house and she heard that a big party was uh, started in that place. Okay, and Marvin, thank you very much. That's okay. three minutes, Marvin. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. You have, no, 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 sorry. no problem. It's good, it's good, Marvin. All right, you're doing good. Okay, so okay. here, Marvin, we're doing good. We have a few things that we need to correct. All right, the okay. pronunciation, the first one is hair, hair. hair. Remember, okay. men's does not exist. Men's does not exist because men is plural. There is no, okay. man is singular, men is plural, okay? Then okay. to use reject, is in the past rejected she rejected the men rejected okay and then you said they has but they no is not has is they have or they had in the past okay all right marvin good job who's next marvin yeah um, the famous ivania ivania I... okay all right, Ivania, then. Perfect. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm going to talk about uh, the CPT, like Sergio. Um, I think he is one of the most famous legend in El Salvador. But if you don't know, um, it's a legend in... Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Mexico too. So the Cipitio was the Siwanaba son. The Siwanaba was the, the moon goddess. And she also was the wife of the sun god. And, she, and they procreated the Cipitio. But one day, um, the Siwanaba cheated, uh, cheated on the sun god, so he was very angry and he condemned uh, to her to appear to men who walk alone at night. And to the child, to the Cipetio, he condemned to him to be a boy forever, a, a, a child forever. So for that reason, uh, the CPTO uh, always is 10 years old. Uh, the CPTO is a word in Nahuatl, uh, that means cipote. Uh, cipote uh, is a word that Salvadorians use to refer to a child or to, to a boy, to a girl. Um, the CPTO uh, obviously was a son of gods, 
but his uh, physical appearance is like a poor child. Uh, he always wear white clothes and a big hat. And uh, he has um, a big stomach and he has the power to teleport. Um, people say that CPTO um, enjoys to bully people. Uh, like Sergio say, especially to John a uh, woman. And he likes bully people. He enjoy to make jokes. Um, I think um, that legend is very important and okay. we have a, a series. Thank you very Sorry. much. That's three minutes. Thank you very much. Good job. Okay. Good. You're speaking the entire time. We have a few things that we need to help you. Um, the pronunciation is sun god. Sun god. Okay. He's the sun god. The other is condemned. Condemned. Damn. Nope. Make stronger the D, Banya, at the end. Condemned. The. Condemned. Correct. Okay. Remember, for Cipitio, it's a he. So he wears, he wears with S. He, she, it, S. He wears. And then it's not, he likes, uh, he is to bully people or he like, uh, he likes bullying people. Bullying. Okay. NG. All right, Ivania, who's the next person? Um, maybe, uh, Dennis. Dennis, excellent. All right, Dennis, your opportunity to turn on the camera. I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Don't hate of me. course. <laughs> it's personal, it's personal, I know. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm very happy to share my story with you. And I don't know if Ivani are um, copying me, but I am going to tell you the same story. But, uh, <laughs> and, okay. Uh, I like the CPT story because um, maybe when you are, when you, or when we were kids, uh, it was famous between us and <laughs> we were, a lot of scary. Uh, the CPT was was a, a little kid that walked through the forest uh, around the river. He enjoyed um, throwing uh, flowers and, and rocks to the girls. And maybe the most interesting uh, uh, information about the story is that he he has a bowler fit and he has a, a big hat in his head also. Um, remember he uh, hides uh, in the trees and around the river and it's an amazing story because uh, the story says that he ate ashes and, and he hides uh, between the trees waiting for the, the beautiful girls. Uh, one important thing uh, that I can mention is that his mother, it was a, a terrible mother. Uh, in fact, uh, the original name of the Siwanaba, uh, was Siwe Wet, that means a beautiful woman. And I think it's a very interesting point. And okay, the only I have to say that we need to, to take care when you go to the forest, uh, especially girls like Ivania, because the CPTO 
could throw flowers and sometimes rocks. Okay, that's your story. Thanks. All right, Dennis, thank you so much. <laughs> very good, very good. Perfect. All right, Dennis, as you can see in the chat, we have a few things to correct. Good job. Okay. You say a lot of scary, but it is not necessary a lot of scary. It's it's very scary or it's scary, but not a lot, right? Okay. The other one is the pronunciation. He had backward feet, backward. Bad war, bad war. No, no, with K, strong K, back. Back, back, back war. Backward, correct. Okay. For Thanks. those that are listening, for the class that is listening, backward is al revés. Al revés, okay. Feet. Al revés, bad war mm -hmm. feet. Mm -hmm. Right, Dennis, okay. Thanks. Thanks, Dennis. Um, let me see. We are going to um, Doris. Doris. All right. Doris, Doris. Doris. Yes, Doris is very quiet. But today, turn on the camera. <laughs> turn to speak. All right, Doris. Doris, Doris. Hey, I think Doris has some problems or Doris is not there. Only turn on the camera for the attendance, but not for the class. Oh. Dennis, give us another person. Okay. Um... Maritza Argueta. Okay, Maritza. Okay. Good night, everybody. Hey, hello, uh, Maritza. Good evening. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I choose the same story. It's about TPTO2. So Don't we worry. have to listen again. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Uh, uh, CPTO is a wandering spirit. And he looks like a child that never, never grow up. He is like a 10 years old child. He, he uh, has a, a, a huge hat. He has a big stomach and has his backward feet too. And people, people said that uh, sometimes uh, or usually find a, a, a footprint in the ashes because Pitio wants to, to eat ashes and she likes he likes to eat ashes and he leave the footprints in the in the in the I don't remember the word furnace furnace and another thing is that he used to hide in the bushes in the in the on on the bank of the rivers and creeks and he waits for the pretty girls that had long hair and he used to throw them a uh, little rocks flowers and and he has powers too if you want to follow him he disappeared because he can transport but transportate from one to place to another. Uh, he likes to make jokes to people. If you if he get upset, uh, he uh, makes jokes and and he he's not a bad is uh, is is not a, a dangerous. He just makes jokes, and that's the thing. Uh, another thing is, if, if you want to, CPT let you, let you, uh, uh, let you uh, bother you, uh, stop bothering you. Uh, the girls have to cut the hair, and he he doesn't like uh, girls with uh, short hair. 
Okay, all right, thank you very much. Very good job, okay, great. In the chat, you can see a few of the things, Maritza. Um, the word that you want to say was furnace, I think. I think that, yes, furnace. Right, furnace, good. The other word was bushes. He hides in the bushes. Okay, okay. Uh, the, the furnace, Lemar. The furnace is where you, where you cook. Uh, for example, in the, maybe in the, uh, not in the city, but in the country, they don't have a kitchen. They have a place where to put the, the wood to cook the beans or to cook uh, the food that is the furnace to heat, okay? And then the other word um, is transport. Transport. Yeah, very good. Okay, very good, Maritza, who's next? Who's next, Marie? Uh, uh, let, let me see. Let me see. Um, Alejandro. Okay, Alejandro. Alejandro Escobar. You uh, good day. Good on. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember the story. Sorry. Okay, Alejandro. Um, Alejandro, do you have your camera? Yeah, but I saw ugly. It's okay. It, it, we, okay. We are talking about the CPT, or maybe it's your brother. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to tell a legend of a different country. Uh, this legend is in Japan. Uh, it's one of the most terrifying story, And uh, the name is Gosu, or Kohet in English. Uh, this is a story, uh, it's so creepy, that just telling, uh, uh, it can trigger supernatural events. The legend of Cowhead dates back of 17th uh, century, with rumors that just listening to the narration of said story cows in, in a village to be decided with such great terror uh, that they had chills uh, for days before finally dying of fright. I uh, guess it's so terrible. Uh, a recent rumor tells the story of a school teacher who in his inexplicably, inexplicably, <laughs> I think, managed to get one of the fragment, fragments of cowhead or gossip. The teacher reportedly took his student on a school trip and, and he's just such a fan to, uh, to entertaining uh, them along the way with ghost stories. The student who almost always become uncontrollable on the trips uh, develop a tendency to calm down when listening to the terrifying story of the teacher as a bizarre and morbid fascination for such stories. One of those trips told them that he would tell them the legendary forbidden tale known as Cowhead. But before he could even finish the first sentence of the story, the boys began to panic. Stop, they yelled, don't tell us, because they are, the story is so creepy in, in the legend, right? One boy tore pale and covered his ears, while the others uh, began to scream, uh, but the professor never stopped. It is said, that his eyes tore wide and that he proceeded to end the narrative uh, if he was possessed by supernatural force. After a uh, after an hour, the man re retained inconsistence. Okay. And... Thank you very much. Those are okay. <laughs> all right, all right. 
we didn't get the story, but that's the legend, right? Of him telling the story. <laughs> okay. Uh, the story, uh, I don't know. Hello. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. It's good. Um, a few of the words that you want to work on is inexplicably, inexplicably, developed with T, developed, and forbidden. Forbidden. Okay. All right, Alejandro, who's the next person? Uh, I don't know. Samantha? Okay, Samantha. Hi. Hey, Sam. Wait, I'm going to put my camera. Okay. <laughs> Um, um, I'm sorry if you hear some noise at the background, but <laughs> yeah. Um, well, hi, good evening, teacher and classmate. Today I'm going to talk about a legend of El Salvador that it's called Chasca, the Virgin of the Water. I don't know if you have heard about it, but for me, it's one of the most romantic legends I have ever heard. But I'm going to tell you the story to put in context, okay? <laughs> A long time ago, there was a powerful tribe in the land of La Barra de Santiago in Aguachapan. A man who was called Pachautec was the leader and the strongest man of the tribe. And his daughter was Chaska, the princess and the most beautiful woman uh, that you can find. <laughs> One day, Pachautec asked to Chaska to marry one of the strongest soldiers that they have on the tribe but she didn't accept <laughs> she totally refused because she never felt in love with the man of the tribe and never never get interested in them <laughs> um, but a week later chaska went to the river <laughs> to appreciate the sunset but instead of that she looked a man of another tribe <laughs> and he was fishing and the man noticed her and started to talk with her. And they stayed talking and talking until the night. And passing the days, Chaska escapes from his house in the night to go to talk with him. <laughs> and by the time, they fell in love. <laughs> uh, but they wouldn't be together because if Pachotec discovered they, it wouldn't accept it, and maybe will kill them. <laughs> but Pachotec discovered they. <laughs> they discovered that Chaska escaped from his house. Samantha, and Sam, I'm so yes. sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize, but it's time. It's time. So, Samantha, you are going to begin tomorrow, and then we're going to continue with Marcela and Doris and the other person, Ernesto that didn't have a chance to present today, okay? Okay, so hey, you guys, great job. Great job looking for the stories and the vocabulary in English. Excellent work, and tomorrow we continue, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.